very good guy. Dear friends, this week's lesson is about how not to hurt another person's feelings. Yaakov, the third of our forefathers, is ready to get married. He's in love with Rachel. He worked for her for seven years. And now the two of them are about to be married. Before the wedding, they decide that there might be trouble because Rachel has an evil father, Lavan. He might replace Rachel with an older sister, Leah. And so they come up with signs to make sure that there's no trickery. And yet, right before the wedding, Rachel thinks to herself, perhaps my father does replace me with my older sister, Leah. How embarrassed would Leia be if under the canopy she will not respond with those signs? Everybody will see that she's going to be forever crushed. And Rachel does an unthinkable. She gives over these special signs shared only with Yaakov to her sister Leia. She put herself on the second place so that her sister's feelings should not be hurt. Her gift to her sister is eternal. We we'll learn from this how to be sensitive, how to put ourselves not in a primary place, but how to be sensitive to other people's emotions. And so that's exactly what happened. Leah was replaced and Yaakov married her sister Leah, not Rachel. It's only later that Rachel was able to also marry Yaakov, but she did not know that at the time. What a gift, what an opportunity to show the gift of giving to our Jewish people. We know that Rachel continues to cry for Jewish people when we are in pain, when we are in exile, when Holocaust, Inquisition, and terrible calamities happen to Jewish people. And her tears are always heard because of her unconditional giving. Also, when we go through life, we have to be sensitive to other people's situations. When a person collected charity, he once asked a wealthy person who had money to give to step outside so they could have a chat. A wealthy person said, I'm very uncomfortable, I'd rather go inside. And the rabbi said, only on the cold night like this, standing outside of the house, can you really understand the plight of those that do not have heat, of those that have less than you. Let us be mindful of those that have less, of people that have different feelings. Let us think before we speak to make sure we do not embarrass another person. Have a wonderful and meaningful week ahead.